Good everyone, my name is uh, Graphics. Now, today we'll be looking at orthographic projection. Now, orthographic projection is a platform whereby we showcase the three dimensional view of the drawing in different sections, right? Like we have three parts that we can see in an asymmetric. Let's assume this figure. This figure. Now, if you look at this side, we know we're having platform like this. Let me call it this from here. Hmm? So I'll call that part. Let me see. Part A. Let me call it A, this section. If you're looking at this side. And that will be our elevation. Right? Now, if you look from the top, let's say the top, this top here, looking from the top here, let's call it the plan, looking from the top, we call it the plan, right? So I'll call it the plan, looking from the top. So let me put it this way. So the circle. Represent the plan. So when looking at the top, you won't be able to see this aspect. You only see on top of here. You're looking from on top. Here yeah, just like your staircase. When you are climbing your staircase, you will not see this part of the staircase, right? So we'll call it the plan. So let me call it my B zone as in BB. Right? You don't see BB. Now if you look at this part here from here. Hmm? If you see something like this, let me call it this way. You see now this part here. All these parts. So we we'll call that the end view. The end view or the end elevation. Is that taken? So we have three views in an autographic projection. We have the plan. Let me do this way. We have the plan, which I explained using this symbol, circle, to represent our plan. We have the end view or the elevation, we call the elevation, hmm? which I represent using this arch line. And we have the end view or the end elevation. Which we represented using this symbol. Oh, good. Now, what I want you to understand here is the way you arrange them is the most important aspect of orthographic production. Like, if you can remember vividly, we have what is called our quadrant. We have what is called quadrant. In our quadrant, we have something like this. Or better still, we have what's called like this. We have first quadrant. We have second quadrant. We have third quadrant and we have fourth quadrant. Right? If I place my elevation, this elevation I'm talking about now, is this figure you're seeing here like this. this is what I will see. If I'm looking at it from this direction here, I will see this thing that looks like L shape. I will see this shape like this. This L shape. You will see a shape like this. This shape you will see. So that is the elevation here. So if I place this my elevation on this quadrant, probably I have something like this. I rule a line this way. If I place my elevation here. Mm -hmm. We we'll say it is what first angle, right? Because my elevation is here. What will follow my elevation will be my what my plan. 
after the elevation beneath the elevation will be what the plan so if i have my elevation here i'll say it is what first angle because it's on the first quadrant if i have my elevation here mm -hmm. i will say it is second angle projection because it's at the second quadrant if i have my elevation here i'll say it is what my third angle sorry if i have the elevation here if i have it here is at the third the fourth quadrant so i'll say it is what my fourth angle projection and if i have it here I'll say it's what at my third quadrant. So third angle production. Are you with me now? Let me zoom it so it's what I'm doing. So if it is at the first angle, first um, quadrant, I say first angle production, second quadrant, I call it second angle production, third quadrant, I call it third angle production, fourth quadrant, I call it fourth angle production. Now the next thing you need to understand is this. If I'm looking from the top, I will see my plan, and I'll be seeing something like this. I'll be seeing something like this. I'll be seeing B, which is somewhere around here, to be B, and I'll see something like this. This is what I'll be seeing here. Right? So, the plan is always under the elevation in first angle projection that way you know the plan is always under the elevation in first angle projection so we are having so i'm having my plan here this is what i'm drawing here to always be under the elevation in first angle so if i come here also i'll do the same thing I have this too. That is also my plan. If I come here to, I'm having this right. So, but if I now have my plan on top of the elevation now, that is what third angle. So the plan is always on top the elevation in third angle production. So that's what I want you to understand. Plan is always on top of the elevation. So this is our plan on top now, right? It's on the elevation. So these two here, they are classified as what? As one. Why these two? First angle and second angle are classified as what? As one. Why third angle and um, fourth angle are classified as what? As one two. Are we together now? So the end view. I said something earlier, the plan is always under the elevation in first angle. Why the plan is always on top of the elevation in third angle. So the end view have no, no other place to stay except in front or behind the elevation. So if I want to draw my end view now, end view means looking, at the, looking from the top here. If I look from this direction here, and I'll see end view, and I'll see something like this. So let me call it C. I'm seeing something like this C. Right? So I'll be having something to see like this. So this is what I'm seeing. Looking from here, I'll see this place, and I'll see this place. So if I want to draw that, I always place it. The end view is always in front of what? The elevation in anywhere. Right, my end view is always in front of my what my elevation in front or behind. Right, my end view is always in front or behind. You don't put your end view in front of your plan. Your end view is always behind or in front of elevation. So three cal three words I've told you here today to learn is that my elevation, my plan is always under my elevation in first angle. 
and my plan is always on top my elevation in third angle. But the end view is either behind or in front of the elevation. Is that taken now? So, one thing you have to know is that if I am to draw this symbol for my first angle, it's always like this. When you see this symbol like this. This is a symbol like this. This is a symbol for first angle. Right? But when you see this symbol like this, when this one comes in front, it's third angle. So this is first angle symbol. And when it's in front like this, when it's in front like this, this is in what? Third angle. Are we good? So this is in third angle. So watch this symbol. This symbol for first angle and this symbol for third angle. These are the basics you need to understand. Right? So, in our next video, we'll solve a good question to explain. So, one, before I say anything else, is that now in our course of study, you had this just use this first angle and the fourth angle. We know it's to what we focus more on is just. The second and the third. So we'll take our second angle projection as our first angle projection, and we'll take our third angle projection as our fourth angle projection. Right? So we'll use these two. But you can draw it in any way. I will go down. So let me do more, a good example for you for you to understand what I'm trying to talk about. Thank you for watching.